Hey everybody, welcome to Obscurities in Miniatures, and it is that time of the week again. It's time for our weekly painting progress, of which progress has been made, in some cases better than others. And we're going to start things off with what now seems to appear to be a very half-finished gunfighter lady from Great Escape Games, part of their Dead Man's Hand lineup. These are all plastic miniatures. We've reviewed them before. We'll have a link down below if you want to check them out. But I definitely need to go back and actually paint her eyes. And I feel like her dress is just kind of plain and I can see spots of stuff on it. Ding, that zoomed in. Obviously it needs a little bit of cleanup there. I like the pearl handle looking handles on her guns. Reminds me of the old cap guns we had as kids. I can't tell if those are shadows or just I missed a spot. But I'm gonna fix her up. And obviously there's like no detailing on her base. I'm gonna have to clean that up as well. Maybe put a cacti or something. We'll do something with her. Make her extra special. Okay. Let's see what else we got. Is that the only actual physical kit? No, no, we got a couple of a mixture this week. Uh, I tried painting up one of the one page rules star saurians and I'm not 100% satisfied with my results. Um... First off, I can't tell if he's actually supposed to be wearing shoulder pads or not. I painted him like it, but now that I look at it more carefully, I feel like, nope, that's actually supposed to be part of his skin. Scales. Scaly skin. And I probably should do something with his claws, because they're just blue and it doesn't look right. And I'm not a fan of the armor. I did actually try to do some highlighting, but it just seems to have kind of blended in, and you can't really see it on camera. I think the gray that I used just blends too far in to the black. That and I just didn't know what to do with them. I like the idea, I like the concept of these guys. I just didn't know how to actually go about painting them. And that's been my problem with Lizard Men for some time, is I never know how to really finish them off. Of course, I also feel like they should wear pants and stuff as well, but that's a different story. I know there's others out there who agree with me, but eh, we got the first one done. Gotta start somewhere, right? Let's see what else we got. This poor fellow, um, so he's supposed to be wearing like a scarf veil thing over one of his eyes and his mouth, which is bizarre, but it is what it is, and I broke him at least three or four times now, and the colors on camera are really just blending together, and I'm not super happy with that. And this is from RNS Studios' Neo Kingdom line. I'm going to have to go back and fix that up. I'm not sure about those colors at all. But that does complete the three master type swordsman dudes. I like his pose, but I think I'm, I'm happiest with this guy the most. I mean, the mage one looks pretty decent. They all kind of match together with the different colors, of which they all are completely different. I don't know. I feel like I could have done better, but that's... What I say a lot, I am happy he's finished. I'm definitely going to go back and touch him up a bit more and try to at least, this whole front area, everything is just kind of a blend of mushiness I'm not fond of. We'll see what we can do with that, if anything. All right, <laughs> this next one I had to print and paint as soon as it was available, and that is real type on Panmon. And I got to fix on Panmon's head here. I know it's Saitama. You guys do know that One Punch Man is totally on Pun Man. I mean, the costume is literally just the exact opposite. He's got a red suit with yellow gloves and boots. Considering how many years I had to watch that with my own children, with my nieces, that just dawned on me. My nieces were so into On Pun Man. But yeah, Saitama is done. It came out pretty cool. I don't remember the last time I looked at the manga. It was like on like volume three or something ridiculous. So that was from R and Studio as well. And then I started goofing around trying to paint up those drones. I showed these off the other day. I don't know about that color on the shield. These are from Warlord, part of their Slain 2000 AD game. This is the individual warband. I have not painted them all yet. That yellow sucked. Look at that. That That's awful. That's going to have to get redone. Which is a shame because I think I did okay on everything else. I mean, I know these are like super duper zoomed in. 
or not at all. But they're not alone. We've got a couple other of the Axemen. This pose reminds me of something. I don't know. All the all their poses remind me of something. It feels like a like a Reaper Bones pose. This one feels like a Tremonor pose. They're little tutors that look like uh, the breathing tubes. Look like they're all got like giant joints sticking out of their mouths, puffing away. But all together, not a little bad unit. I still haven't even primed the other guys. They're not bad models, though. I know some of you were concerned about the quality of the material, but I gotta say, it worked out pretty well. I did have to clip and cut in some spots. I didn't notice any issues. I got a pile of similar material in the mail from Flying Frog from their Dice Fest orders, so if you're interested, I guess there's one more to keep an eye out for those. Some of the new limited models they've got coming out in their, what do they call it, thermal plastic or something they called it, I don't remember. Yeah, I'm going to have a lot of free time, so this week my wife has to go back and stay with her family because my father-in-law is not doing super great. Hopefully he's got a little bit more kick in him, but I know she's not really looking forward to this trip, but she's going to be gone until almost the end of the month, so I'm going to have a lot of free time, especially with the Thanksgiving holiday coming up. So I know the week of Thanksgiving, I'm going to make sure that we have plenty of videos for you guys to be entertained. I'll start trying to go through and put some more of those shorts up as well. And if there's anything you guys want to see from the vast, vast collection of videos, things that have been shown off at one point or another on this channel, uh, you know, send me an instant message and email me the emails on the YouTube website somewhere. Um, Drop me a message somewhere and I will try to get to it because, like I said, I'll have a lot of free time. Moving on, we have Rattori Hanzo. This is another of the Gomic. Why he does that? Stupid cheap sealer. Another of the Gomic ninja rats. And I was trying to make like little scribbly sketch marks. And I don't know, it just looks like a mess. He came out okay. He's still a little glossy on the front. I'm not sure if he's supposed to be any specific warlord type or if he's just a generic samurai rat. But with all the other rats I got hanging around from the last time, this little midget one. Between them and all of the stuff that uh, Titan Forge is doing this month, they've got a bunch of rats as well. And actually, Gomic has more coming too. So, I'm going to keep an eye on those. Why they had to be a bajillion pieces, I'm not sure. But Alright, this is a funky one, and I didn't do the best job, so my apologies. Uh, I kept this thing glossy on purpose. It's supposed to be like just shiny darkness. This is the, what was it called? Dark Inferno, wasn't it? I forget, was this from 3? It's from one of the Kingdom Hearts games. But, uh... This is from Erkman's minis. We're still one of the very few people who are trying to actually go and sculpt up a lot of the games and stuff that I have always enjoyed playing. And he is completely see-through. He has that nice hollow heart shape in the middle of him, as he's supposed to. Something out of Final Fantasy, almost. But, you know, it is a square game. So, let me know. And finally... It's not a week we go by without another Kingdom Death model. This is the male Dung Beetle Dancer. And it's been a while since I've had to paint such rosy cheeks on a male model. But I thought I did okay. I don't know what to do with his armor. Or his scarf, because, number one, I played around with the colors, and I didn't feel satisfied with everything. And then I went, and like, let me grab my dung beetle so you guys can see it. I painted him so long ago, that I don't even know what I did now. I want to say that I probably used, like, a metallic blue, and then did, like, some kind of highlighting over it. I 
I still love the Dung Beetle. I think design-wise, one of my favorite Kingdom Death models. I painted him a long time ago. I am fabulous. He's pretty cool looking. <laughs> so one of the things that the few times, every time I try to get Kingdom Death to the table, and there's no children present, so I don't have to worry about things breaking, is I like to pull one of the postcards or the actual cards and whatever we come up with is going to be the designated survivor or some group of survivors for that round. I think that's just a fun one since, I don't know, I, I posted on Instagram, maybe I should show you guys just the sheer volume of figures at this point that I've painted from the line. I haven't painted everything, but I've painted a lot. Still need to do my Sunstalker, Slenderman, Lion Knight, Lion God, Giga Lion. Did I say Sunstalker already? But overall, not a bad little haul. Hopefully, we're going to get some stuff from my brother as well, Mr. Sparkle Shroud, who's probably busy house sitting most likely because our parents are somewhere, I think, in Europe. So, any of you European folk out there who know any good comics suggestions, please, please let me know. Uh, language doesn't really matter. I'd prefer something that obviously isn't in English or have an English translation. But give me a few suggestions if you can. I will be happy to funnel that list off to them while they're gallivanting through whatever countries they're in at the moment. And while they're looking for that, if you guys want to look for any of this, as always, we will have links to everything down below. Not that there's a whole lot of choices this week, but I do try to keep track. I've got like this grand database that I cut and paste from every week almost. So, like I've said, if there's anything you are interested in that looks like something you could do better, and I bet you could because I'm sure most of you out there are just as good, if not significantly better painters than I am. I know it's just that mind over matter mentality of trying to sit down and paint it. Believe me, I suffer from not getting anything done just as much as the next guy, but for whatever stubborn reason, I just keep plugging away at this. If you want to share what you're doing, hit that hashtag, Weekly Painting Progress. Just like I keep posting all my stuff, hopefully you guys can share in the fun as well. So, with that said, this has been High Lord Tamberlane with Obscurities and Miniatures saying thanks for watching, and we'll see you back here soon. Bye-bye.